whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Annabelle. I'm a rising junior at the Dalton School. And um, for my starter project at Blue Stamp, I made a mini POV, which is basically a little um, gadget that has a bunch of LEDs on it that light up in a certain order, a certain frequency, so that when you shake it back and forth, um, you see um, a line of text or an image, whatever you, um, the user, programs into the program. So in order to make this, I had to learn how to solder because in order to get the LEDs and the wires and everything um, contained and together, I needed to be able to solder the pieces together so it would stick. Um, also, I had to learn some small amounts of computer programming um, in the language that comes with Kit, and because um, if you're gonna try to put in your own text or your own image, you have to be able to program that in, and then you need to be able to hook this up to the computer, and so that you can input the stuff that you wrote and that you modified onto this, so you can see what you want. Um, one of the problems I encountered was when I was trying to run a certain function to get the information from the computer to this device, the function wouldn't work, and so I had to do a lot of troubleshooting about how to get that to work, and finally it worked, so that was good. So this is one of the most important parts, this is the LEDs, they light up certain um, amounts and like a certain frequency so that you can see the image or the text. Um, these one, two, three wires with the little red bead-like things are the diodes, which is a one-way wire, so it makes sure that the current flows in one direction. And these other wires are the resistors, which make sure that the current doesn't flow past a certain limit, um, and it keeps the voltage lowered. Then there's um, the microcontroller, which comes with pre-programmed code on it already that um, controls the rest of the device. And the way to get the modified code onto this is that you use this serial port, and there's a, a serial USB connector that you can plug in here, and you plug in on the end of your computer, so that when you write code on your computer and modify that code, you can send it through here onto the device, and it goes through the microcontroller, and the microcontroller tells the LEDs to light up how you said, that, how you told them to light up. And then the entire thing is powered by this battery pack, which is connected by the wires to the panel. Did you get it? My next project will be creating a pot that has um, LEDs going around its circumference that light up certain colors depending on how hot the 